your girl and I back at it with another video. Period. <laughs> okay, so I was going, I said that I'm going to do a draw and talk with me. I'm in the car because I, yeah. So, I got my sketchbook. Listen, I'm not a professional artist or drawer or whatever, but I'll be practicing or whatever. So, I'm going to just show y'all some of the stuff that I did. pick it up and stuff and then I got some pencils I got these color pencils and then I got some pencils and I got all this stuff from Hobby Lobby so yeah but I'm gonna use a lead pencil all right so basically I just want to talk about like my practicing okay and like this journey or whatever okay let me turn it up because I don't want my car to be thrown out for gas. I don't want to know I'm here. Anyway, so if you don't know, I am pregnant. I am expecting a baby girl. Yes, I'm excited. I'm 23 weeks and like four days or whatever. I don't know. But I'm due in February and I'm excited because I'm ready to meet her. But uh, I just want to talk about, like, the other day at work, like, somebody pissed me off, like, and I, it just had me thinking, like, when you pregnant, it's really so, it's like, it's frustrating, like, being pregnant, because, like, when you pregnant, you can't, like, like, you can't drink, you can't smoke like if you're a smoker you're a drinker you can't do none of that stuff so like to let any anger out you can't you can't do it like you gotta find something else and like you can't like be like getting stressed out or screaming and spazzing out because um uh, it might it will affect the baby you know, and you don't want anything to harm your baby. And it just frustrates me because, like, damn, I'm just be like, I be wanting spaz. Like, bruh, I want to spaz out of the day. Like, I did for a second and it made me mad at the end of it all. And it made me mad because, like, I'm just like, bruh, like, I'm mad that I got a character. And, like, it made me more mad because, like, I don't know how to. There's nothing I can do, or I don't have nothing to like let this frustration out. You know, I can't smoke, I can't drink. So it's like it's difficult, and people, people be trying you when you're pregnant, honey, because they know that oh, you can't do nothing. The baby this, baby that. They <laughs> lie. You gotta make sure your baby this, baby that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm drawing this I feel like I've been pregnant forever. Like, I really do. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I feel like I've been pregnant for the longest. Like, it's taking 
fight sometimes. Like, I just, I don't know, I just feel like the month is going by really slow. I don't really like this. This is what I have so far. I don't like it. Um, I really just, like, I'm trying to, um, like, my job, like, it's depressing, like, I mean, I ain't gonna hold you, like, the job is depressing, and I don't want to be anywhere that's depressing, like, damn, damn, I know I need the money, but damn, that shit depressing, like, I, like, I always felt like being in a certain place or a job for, like, eight hours and stuff like that is just, depressing like so, like most of my time is being spent in a job that I hate I don't like that but I gotta do what I gotta do right now because I need money you know period I need money and I'm not about to set my baby up for failure you know so if I gotta work somewhere that I dislike just to make sure my baby treat, then that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to save up some money so I can get the fuck out of there. Cause I do not like them people. I don't care. Like once I get my money saved, I'm getting the fuck out of there, period. You can all right, so this is what I redrew her head or whatever. And this is what I have. So, um, yeah, how y'all doing though? Like, at this point, I really had to be my own boss because working for other people is just not it. It's not it. I mean, like, these people do not give a fuck about you, period. Like, they don't. And I don't want to work for a place where they, they do not give a fuck about my well-being and my health and stuff like that, you know? I pray that, you know, once that, you know, I have my baby and stuff and it's time for me to go back looking, for, go back working and stuff that I get a job that cares about my well-being, you know, because I don't want to work somewhere where they do not care about my well-being, you know, the way I look at it is I'll quit a job until I find a job for me. Cause everything, every job ain't for everybody. Like when I be asking some of the people I work with, um, how long they been there and stuff like that, and then tell me eight years, fourteen years, and honestly, I give them credit because I couldn't do it. Like ain't no way in hell I'm finna be in a place that long in the same position. Cause I know they in the same position. Like. And then on top of that, like sometimes like how much you getting paid? And they told me they getting paid the same amount I'm getting paid. I'm just like, no, like I feel bad for them, honestly, because I feel like that's disrespectful. Because ain't no way in hell I'm finna be in a place for 14 years and I'm getting paid the same price as somebody who just got here. That is no. Hell no. Know your worth. Period. But this is what I have so far. I don't know how I'm gonna do her hair, but we're gonna figure that out. But yeah. But yeah, I just feel like, damn, man, you need to know your worth, sis. Like, these people playing you for real. All right, so this is what I have now. Hopefully, y'all can see that. I got a screen protector on my phone, so like, I can't really see that good. Like, it looks dark. But yeah, this is what I have. Eyes, eyebrows, I'm about to do her hair. Um, I don't know what kind of hair I should get for it. Like, I haven't been practicing that much lately, so really, all I know is how to do like really natural hair. So, yeah, and I think I'm gonna just do like a puff or whatever because. I don't know how to paint. That's not really my next 
pink. So I just gave her a puff because that's quick and simple. And then like on top of that, me being me being pregnant and shit, I can't really fit. I can't fit my clothes. Like on my clothes, it's too small. So I'm gonna have to buy new clothes. Like, and I've been I bought some like maternity clothes. If you want to see um, the maternity clothes that I did buy, um, and put the thing up top with the little eye or whatever, so you can see that um, I did a haul on the clothes that I brought. And I'm gonna put it in the description so you just also see. Just go click it in the description or you can click it up here because I don't know if I'm gonna put it up there. But yeah. And I also did a haul, like a thrift haul, and then I brought like some sweatpants and stuff like that because yeah, it's comfy. So I'm gonna put that up there or in the description as too so you can go check that out in case you miss it. You know? So right now I'm just drawing her hair, giving it some like curl pattern. This is what she's like now. I don't know if I like her. Like I feel like this side right here is a little crooked. But she got me, I guess. Alright. Alright, so this is I put like a shirt or on her. I'm not done yet. I think I'm gonna lower the shirt down so because she looks so for my baby shower or a regular dress but it's really hard because my theme colors like are neon green purple I forgot what color, and gold and I really cannot find any color that's neon green a dress that's neon green or a dress that's purple or gold So yeah, it's hard. Like most of the dresses I've seen was all the same style. Like for like baby shower dresses, like had like the the hand shoulder off or like the V neck thing. And I'm just like, man, like I don't want that. With the like, it's like for curvy people, you know, the, like the um, mermaid type style. And I don't want that. I don't really like her, but whatever. I feel like people make like being pregnant like it's like exciting. Like I ain't gonna hold you like I'm not really like it's not really exciting to me, like like because you can't do anything and you gotta be careful and be very cautious. Like it's it's not really exciting to me. I'm just I'm just running to her for fun because yeah. But then again, I don't know, because I'm be scared as hell when it's time to pop her out. Like, bro, I'm gonna be scared. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I'm gonna be scared. But if y'all like this video, like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Oh, I'm mad, huh? Alright, so I'm kind of finished for her. So I am finished. This is what I have. I just did a little afro, something quick and simple. Eyebrows on here, got her little dress, not a dress, but a little shirt or whatever. And this is what I did. Honestly, I feel like maybe this side of her face is a little crooked. Um, but then again, on the right, if I'm looking at it like face to face, it don't look crooked to me. Like she look fine. But if I'm looking at it like in the camera and then right here, she look crooked, you know. But yeah, this is the finished look. If y'all want details on this hair, I did a review on this hair also a long, long time ago. T go, go check out my videos and watch it and like the video. But thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. If y'all got any videos y'all want me to do, then just let me know and I'll probably do it for real. But anyway, I love you guys. You know, stay prayed up, stay blessed, and you know, yeah.
Peace.